So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi there, I'm Michael. Take a seat while I tell you about a few of the two-player only games that I think are the absolute best out there. These aren't the two plus games that might be great games at two player, no, these are the pure two player wonders. At number three we have a game from Osprey Games and this is one of my favourite racing games, Odin's Ravens. Now, this is a very interesting game, and it has absolutely fantastic artwork. I mean, look at these cards. They are beautiful. It's got these lovely wooden raven pieces as well that are just absolutely charming. Everything about this game just oozes charm and delight, and the gameplay matches that. It's a very easy, very simple game to play. You have a line of cards laid out that is your track for a race and you are trying to get your raven along one side and back down the other so you're both covering the same track but at different times and this is really interesting because the game has these special power cards that can modify the track you can rotate cards you can slip cards down to make it shorter on one side longer on the other you can do all sorts of things you can just remove cards all com completely you can lay out new cards that come out and go like this and change the path and make it longer but of course you've got to time all this right and the way you're getting these special power cards is really interesting because in this game the way you draw cards is you pick do you draw a special power or do you draw what's called a flight card and the flight cards are what are going to allow you to move along this track if you play a flight card that match the symbol you want to move to you move across all of that type so if you adjust the track to have say that and then you have these mounting cards you could go vroom rather than using two and it's all about that efficiency of your card use and when you use them how you use them an absolutely charming and interesting game that's Odin's Ravens by Osprey Games then our number two entry comes from White Wizard Games and that's this tiny little box here Star Realms an absolutely fantastic two-player deck builder game and what I mean by deck builder is that you start with a deck of basic cards that will do things like give you combat to attack people's life points that you then deteriorate and you win the game by taking all their life points but the deck building you start with these basic cards some will give you the combat for that others give you this buying power and you'll use that buying power to buy new cards into your deck and you have this randomized market of five cards which when you buy a card a new one comes in and those will then go into your deck and those will get you more powerful abilities that will allow you to get rid of cards that are rubbish from your deck and do more damage and heal damage and cause people to discard cards and all sorts. It's absolutely fantastic. It's quick, it's simple, it's light and easy to play. It is all the fun of a deck builder with direct conflict as you're chipping away at each other's life points, building up your deck to combo with other cards a fantastic two-player game. Then in the numero uno spot we have from Mayfair Games the least thematic game of the bunch and that is Patchwork but by far the best two-player game. Now I didn't try this for absolutely ages because of the theme but the theme isn't really there in the gameplay this is an abstract game of spatial awareness using these polyominoes these bits here as you're filling your quilt but you can only take from the first three from this piece and whichever one you take you then replace with the piece and then you've got to fit this in but there's more to take into account because these have costs on them you can pay costs in buttons and you'll also have costs in time. The costs in time reflect how far you move along this track and the game will end when both people reach the centre. The other thing about this track is there are these buttons and when you pass the buttons you gain income. Now income is both points 
and also buttons to spend on more tiles. So you might be thinking, well, why don't I just get income and not build any tiles? Well, the reason being, A, you wouldn't move along the track, and B, that you lose points for any empty spaces on your quilt at the end of the game. This is absolutely fantastic. It works so well. You've got the involvement of picking which one do you want based on, well, what are they likely to take? How far do I need to move this? So much going on, so much to consider in such a small type package that plays easily in a quick amount of time. And yeah, just an absolutely fantastic two player game. That is Patchwork by Mayfair Games, my favourite two player only game. So that's my list. I do hope you've agreed with it. If you have, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't, do the same and tell me what games you think should be in there. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.